Hi, this is Rajesh Gunasundaram, founder and editor of programmerguide.net. In this session, we are going to discuss about quick starting Angular 2 using Visual Studio Code. What is AngularJS? AngularJS is a framework used for developing dynamic web applications. It lets you use HTML as your template language. It extends HTML syntax to express your application components. Angular 2 data binding and dependency injection eliminate much of the code you write. What is Angular 2? Angular 2 is the next massive release of the previous AngularJS 1.x version. Angular 2 has improved dependency injection, introduced components, supports data annotation, supports development using TypeScript. What is Visual Studio Code? Visual Studio Code is an open source source code editor developed by Microsoft for Windows, Linux and OSX platforms. It includes supports for debugging, git control, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion, code snippets, and code refactoring. Steps involved in the Squeak Start Guide Open Visual Studio Code, create an application project folder, add few configuration files, install packages using npm, add Angular component class and main file, add index.html page, and run the application. For this demo, we need Visual Studio Code Editor, Node.js and NPM installed, latest browser and of course an internet connectivity. For this demo, we are going to follow a 5 minutes quick start guide provided in angular.io website. So this is a simple application that just displays my first Angular 2 app on the screen. And we are going to use Visual Studio Code Editor. I have just created a folder named my first app to add files for this application okay as stated here let us first add, add a dsconfig.json file to this project folder this is a uh, json file it's a configuration file that tells the visual studio code about the compiler options involved in transpiling the tra transcript into a javascript file. I am just going to copy the entire uh, content of tsconfig.json file and I am going to paste it in, in our application. Next, we have ha added a uh, tsconfig.json file. Next, we need a typings.json file in this project folder. So, I am going to create a typings.json file now. I'm just going to copy the entire content. Next, we need a package.json file. In the same way, I'm going to copy the entire content provided with this website. We have all the configuration files required. Apart from whatever the configuration files to be added uh, mentioned in this particular website, we also need to add a few more configuration files that is related to Visual Studio Code. One is to provide information about uh, configuration to run this application or to launch this application. So how could we add those configuration files? Click this debug icon. Here you have a gear icon to add launch.json. Select node.js as your runtime environment. It automatically adds a launch.json with the following content to our application code under .js code folder. Next we need to add a task.json file. You can add task.json file by opening a command palette and type tasks configure task runner. It adds a task.json file under .vs code folder. In task.json, hello world.ts has been added as an argument by default. However, we need to compile all the uh, transcript files involved in this application, created in this application, I mean. So, in order to do that, we just remove the hard coded uh, transcript file from the argument. So, let's proceed on installing the packages. 
open the command prompt and go to the application folder that is my first app under programmer guide then type the command install npm install the configuration for dependencies and dev dependencies all this will get installed by the npm install command so all this uh, all this external uh, javascript libraries and frameworks will be added to the newly created folder called node underscore module and all the required libraries and frameworks will be added here We have all the required dependencies installed using npm package manager. Let us exit this console. Now let us add our first Angular component to our application. I am creating an app folder. Under this folder let me add an AngularJS component, new file. Let me copy the content given in the angular.io. Now let us add a main.ts file that bootstraps the root component that we have just created. It actually tells the angular which component is the root component and which template to be launched as the first template on the application. Let us add main.ts. I am copying the entire content. Now let us add an index.html file. And we copy and paste the entire content given here. We have all the code required to run this application. Now let us run the task runner. Open the command palette. We are going to run the task runner to transpile the transcript file into JavaScript using the TSC command. We also need to configure in the launch.json file that we are going to launch this application using the light server. Here in the program, we have to provide the light, light server information that will be launched as part of the application launch. Okay, so in the node underscore module, we have a we have a package for light server. So we have to put the path for light server framework here. So it is a node underscore module. So then bin and then light server. So it is done. Now let us run the application and see the magic. Voila, we have our first Angular 2 application running using Visual Studio Code. I did not go deeper inside about discussing on Angular 2 components, routing, templates and etc. I just wanted to give you a walkthrough on book starting an Angular 2 application using Visual Studio Code. Hope I achieved it. Thanks for watching. Happy coding. If you like this video, Please like it and subscribe to our channel.